Hey ladies, are you feeling a little infertile this week? Don't worry about it. Today, I, I will, will ovulate, ovulate you. you. Not really, I'm just putting a bunch of TikTok hacks to test and see if they actually change my features like they claim to. And unfortunately, yes, they do. I went from the big eyed bitch from the wedding movie to this, and I think that's pretty damn good. So yeah, subscribe, like, and let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna be trying a bunch of new TikTok makeup hacks. Starting off with this, of course, I look like Mary Antoinette. But yeah, if you know, you know, I don't do heat products anymore. Using this little hot dog for the past three, four months, not going back to straightener, hair curlers, none of that. No heat. You know, you know, you put the hot dog on, you swell your hair, and you clip it, and you go to sleep, and you wake up the next day with really beautiful, luscious curls. So I'm gonna take mine out now. It's pretty much sitting in there for a good amount of time. You have super long hair, and you just don't have the time to sit and curl your hair. I, like, I don't. I'm not a hair girl, I'm more of a makeup person, so I love doing my makeup, but then I realize I have long hair that I need to also fix. Okay, so you take out your curls a little bit. I also did hairspray my hair. Then what you wanna do is make it flat while the top is fucked. <laughs> then you just wanna pull the hot dog out. Okay, so now this is my hair Z dude. My hair is Beautiful. Look, it's just so hard. I'm like feeling attractive and smart sometimes. I'm gonna put you on some good products today. There's, in 2021, we don't do hair damage anymore. So I just brush it out like that. Well, at the end, I'm gonna brush my whole hair out. For now, I will just let the curl like sit in like this. Okay, so I'm gonna put all my hair back. Shit, dude, that's a lot of hair. I have extensions in, by the way. It takes me 45 minutes to take a shower. I don't take that long, usually, and it's, it's a lot of hair, okay? But the first thing I have here, I saw this on TikTok, uh, insane, this makeup artist uses these eye lifty sticky tape instant eye lift uh tapes like these are tapes that you use to like lift your eyes up if you want like that or your cheekbones your jaw your neck oh, there's a lot desperately wanted to try it out because it looked so cool like you lift up your lids a little bit you have a lot more eyelid space and, and no matter what eyeshadow you do you have that sexy sultry smoky eye the cat eye effect that i always go for so he, she puts it here they're invisible so you can't see them and you got to do it obviously before your primer your makeup here and then it'll pull your eyes up so don't know how this is gonna work again don't try this every single day you wanna have saggy lids by the age of like 12. Okay, one hook is done, so I put it here, pull it up, okay? I don't know how I'm gonna get make this work. I have to tape them now, and I have to tie it at the end. How is this gonna work? Look at this. It's short, and this is long. This is for the neck, and this is for the eyes. Fucked everything up. She did. Ooh! How did she do it so good? Oh. I wanna kill myself. I don't know, I can't see clearly, because it's like pulling my temples okay so this stuck in really freaking well this is just hanging for dear life okay i have a lot of lid space don't want to be cocky okay but i'm just saying do i need this do i i would like more lid space i mean i don't i'm not gonna complain but it's not working okay if i if i tie this i feel like it's gonna explode like my eyes are just gonna explode i don't know why something it just doesn't feel good <laughs> What do I do? <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I have to go underneath my hair so I'll have to take my hair out again. Oh my god I did it do I look like I have an eye lift, guys? Can you look at my face and be like, she looks different, like something is off? Okay, I'm gonna be honest, it's giving me a headache already. Like I can't, it's, it's giving me an eye lift, yes, but I'm, it's giving me a headache. How are the models doing it? I look, I don't look like me, dude. I'm not liking the tape on me. It's so uncomfortable and it's just like pulling. Yeah, I get it as a lift, but more than a lift, like that way, it's just pulling my eyes sideways. So maybe I'm just doing it wrong. I have to like try it another time. So I'm gonna start off with primer for that I'm using for this primer. So I just wanna say, this is still a very good alternative for like getting, instead of getting a cat eye, like Botox fillers near your eye. If you're not about that life, it's too expensive. Of course, you can just do this for a makeup look and take it off. But I'm just, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not gonna suggest this pulling your eye tape thing for everyday makeup. It's just a lot. And also you don't want to stretch your skin out when you're really that young. But I just want to try it out. I was very intrigued. Um, I saw this all over my TikTok. Like a lot of makeup artists use this kind of tape to pull your eyes out. I just look like that Instagram fil filter. Yeah, that's exactly what I look like. I remind myself of that. It's just that like it just pulls all your features in. And those filters are very addicting. They're also crazy. Cause like, I don't look like that. Like I'd be thinking I really look like that. And then this is what I really look like. <laughs> catches me off guard so gotta stop using the insta filters this is another tiktok hack that i found on my for you page i have a pretty chubby like a round face you could say and i want to contour my face like that but before i go with contour i want to try out this serum i got this like as a sample and it's so embarrassing it's called wishful thirst trap juice like if i have a son he's like mommy what are you using oh nothing son i'm just using the wishful thirst trap juice that's what your mommy's using for her makeup today 
Why are why do people come up with such crusty, cringy names? Like I'm getting the eggs from like reading this. What what is a thirst trap? Would you die? Would you die if you just named it hyaluronic acid? But it's very cute, okay? It's a very cute bottle. But it's like a little breastfeeding bottle or whatever. So I'm just gonna take a little bit. Oh, it smells nice. So I'm just gonna put a few drops. Okay, moving on to the foundation trick. Oh my god, this is so exciting. I want to really try it. Okay. okay, I got the Huda Beauty Tantor. I'm gonna go with the blending brush. This is so weird how they do it. Um, they draw two lines here. What is that all about? Okay, and she does something like, it's like a two lane. It's like a road and it separates into like two lines, like in Fast and the Furious, the Vin Diesel scene. Oh, does that, did that fucking kill you? Because it did, it, it killed me. And then I've seen another trick where I've seen people do this, contour right at the entrance, at the entrance of the brows. They bring it down like that. And I've seen also people uh, contour here. Oh my God, I look like I'm playing with mud. Um, On the jaw. Dude, if this cuts off my face fat, I'm gonna always do this. And also you wanna sharpen your chin a little bit like that. Ooh, so far already my face is looking skinnier. One thing I've noticed in like one of Tati's video is you wanna use your leftover contour down, bring it all the way down like that. You can contour the titties and um, shoulder, whatever you wanna do. Collar your mom walks in watches this video and she goes like what the fuck is this what do you do go it's not daughter or gay son <laughs> i love asking people that out of nowhere so she uses blush okay this is my favorite part because guess what i watched madison beer's vogue makeup video and i picked up two liquid blush it's called love tint and one of them is in the shade bright cherry and the other one is fiery red today i'm gonna use the pink one and it is beautiful it's a lot okay just gotta use a little bit after that, I'm gonna quickly take my brush because you need to understand this is liquid blush. You have to work fast. Yeah, okay. So she does like here. Okay, she puts a little bit here, a little here, or here and here. A little bit on the chin, forehead. Okay, so this is the fun part where you get to blend everything with your foundation brush. By the way, I put makeup on top of the tape and it's holding really well. You can't even tell I have tape on. Like I can walk out of the house looking like this. But on my For You page, somebody was like, hey, uh, did anyone notice how their boobs got bigger because of Pfizer vaccine? Hopefully this makes some um, anti-vaxxers go get vaccinated. <laughs> that is insane because I noticed that my boobs expanded, bro. They exploded and I don't even know what happened. And I didn't, maybe, I mean, I am gaining weight. Like, uh, like healthy weight. I like the fact that I'm gaining weight. I'm trying to gain muscle and I go to the gym blah 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 So I don't care about weight, but my boobs like exploded after the vaccine It was so weird and I jumped cups and also like usually I'm a small like I'm a small and tops I became a medium because my boobs would just not fit in and that's insane I don't know what happened like thank fucking god though because I'm not gonna go get implants I will it's just not me. I will pass out in on the table So yay guys if you want to get a little boob implant situation, you should have gotten Pfizer Sucks to be you losers. Nothing's changed. My diet hasn't changed and I don't drink like cow's milk or I don't take pills and none of that No birth control none of that. So don't know what it is love, but I'm very excited for these milk cans or whatever. Okay, um Dude, I look good. You cannot deny I look good moving on to the brows and for that Anastasia brow gel and again another trick that I found on TikTok is if you don't get your brows done professionally um, You really don't know where to start where to end and where the art should be So what I've learned is that you take your pencil or brush and you put it right on your nostril like the side of one of your nostrils And then so that's where it starts. Okay, so here you start and then you have to do diagonal and cross your eyeball and that's the arch here Bring it all the way to the corner of your nostril, match it up to the corner of your eye, and that should be your ending point for your brows. So I do have like the right point. So moving on to the eyes, I'm gonna be doing a cut, cut crease. crease. I haven't said that word in like four years, but I remember this trick where I used to put concealer like this all over like halfway, midway for my eyes and I would just look up. Oh my God, do you guys remember me doing that? I'm sure someone knows what I'm talking about, but you have to just look up and that's where you cut your crease and if you know that trick you're an og like you've been watching me right from the beginning but so i cut the crease like that i bring it up and pat 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 since you're done patting your eye i will go in with a super white shadow and i will set this concealer in i want it to be super bright in a corner i want super lifted lids i'm gonna go in with a pink color to like match my top i'm using the shade teddy from the huda beauty palette and just touching the outsides slightly i want to get crazy and then i'm using the shade raw to just bring it out i'm also going to put the same color all over the inner corner like that here a lot of pink 
I'm gonna be using the NYX Can't Stop One Stop Powder Foundation. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna take a little brush like that and just dab where I think it's extremely oily. So you have to go in with a light hand, just feather it out like that. So you noticed how she, this girl took a little eyeliner brush, she dipped it into eyeliner and then she pulled her eyes out like that. I'm just gonna use my old Anastasia brow gel. I'm gonna first outline my eyes. I'm gonna use my Hourglass Radiant Light uh, palette. It's like super bright light highlight gel liner I mean the brow gel and I'm just gonna pull it in I'm gonna take the brow gel and just cut into the crease of my eye like that and just bring it out brown liner from NYX it's called deepest brown and I'm just gonna use that to make the inner cat eye look at that finally we will apply shitload of mascara all over your lashes this mascara is insane this is from essence and it's the lash princess mascara it's the green one it's like two american dollars it's super inexpensive and it does the job you can see how insane my lashes are so i'm gonna go in with this nude pencil and you want to do this after the mascara because if you do this before the mascara what happens is the mascara is just gonna sit on this you know see i just ran this under my waterline made my eyes super big and doll like i love it okay so what's next and we can't just be doing blush all day i'm gonna do lips now and this is like really embarrassing for me but people go like what do you have on your lips i just don't want to answer yes maybe i want to gatekeep my lip combination but that's only because like i have five six to seven products i use in one like lip look and it's just really embarrassing so first i start with mahogany lip liner i'm gonna get off the lip balm that i have on take the whole thing out i'm gonna line my lips and I will not overline today and I'll tell you why. I have the craziest product I found on Too Faced. So the next lipstick I'm gonna use is the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in Seduction. So this is the most prettiest liquid lipstick for POC. Go get it. Now I'm gonna go with this really cool product. This is the Lip Injection from Too Faced and it's called the Maximum Lip Extra Strength Instant Long Term Lip Plumper. And you just gotta take it out. Oh shit, what is this? There's a pamphlet on how to use this. This is gonna kill me. People on TikTok have been raving about this product, about how it just plumps your lips up to like a whole different level, more than lip injections. And I haven't gotten my lips filled in like, I want to say a year. I haven't topped my lips since then and they've definitely gone down like a million times. But I'm gonna try this to see if I get my lips to be plump again, like how it used to be with lip fillers. It smells like one of these um, really pretty candies that my brother and I used to like chug down when we were young. Ew, it's fluorescent. Uh -huh. oh, so far not stinging it's just like on my face whatever so guys i took out the lashes it just i didn't like it with the makeup look which is way too much but this is the finished sorry i just wet my shirt this is the finished makeup look um i would just lip pass on the lips the worst nightmare my lips are on fire i'm just a very calm, calm patient, patient person, person so i can so handle it you just can't it's straight up using one of these um i don't know spicy sriracha sauces and rubbing it all over your face like it's oh, your lips it's just bad please skip on the lip products but other than that i love the makeup how it came out thank you guys so much for watching subscribe to my youtube channel and i will see you guys in my next video